Okay, in this video we're going to be finding rational functions and graphing them, finding roots, vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, and y-intercepts. Alright, the first thing we need to find are x-intercepts, which we call roots. You may have learned them also as solutions. Um, lots of different names for the same thing, but we're going to use the word root. Okay, Remember, the x-intercept is the point where the line crosses the x-axis. And when you give that answer, it's going to be an, in point form, x comma 0. To find the x-intercepts, you simply set the top, the numerator, equal to 0, and solve it for x. So in this example, 2x squared equals 0, divide by 2, x squared is 0, so x is 0. Now, I don't leave my answer in this form, I make it a point. So 0, 0 is my x-intercept, right? Next thing we find are vertical asymptotes, and the rule to this is you set the bottom or the denominator, you factor it completely. Then you set that denominator equal to zero and solve it for x. Okay, and then you put your answer in this form. The vertical asymptote is x equals whatever you found. C is just a symbol for whatever number you find. So set, find the denominator, and then we'll factor it. x plus one, x minus one. All right. Then I have to set each factor in the denominator equal to 0 and solve it. So x is 1, x is negative 1. All right. So I have two vertical asymptotes in this equation. That happens. All right. The third thing we're going to be looking for are horizontal asymptotes. Now the way you know about horizontal asymptotes is by looking at the power of x or also known as the degree of the numerator versus the degree of the denominator. Okay, it's all about the power of x. And you look through this lens, you think, is it Bobbio, Blotno, or Eats DC? Bobbio means big on bottom. That means the power of x is bigger on the bottom. So y equals 0 is your asymptote. So yo is yo answer. Blotno means the power is, of x is bigger on top. It's not horizontal, but it's oblique. And we'll deal with this in a couple weeks, but I just want you to know it's part of the, the acronym. The third part is the exponents are the same, each dc. So what happens when you have the same exponent on top and the bottom? Well, you just divide the coefficients, and that's your asymptote. So look at example three. If I'm just looking at horizontal asymptotes, I look at the power of x on the top versus the power of x on the bottom. You have x squared in both places, so the exponents are the same. So this is an each dc. And y will equal 2 divided by 1, the coefficients of x squared, and that's just a 2. So y equals 2 is my horizontal asymptote. On example 4, look at the power of x is a 1 on the top and x squared on the bottom. So it's bigger on bottom, so this is Fabio. So this is big on bottom, yo is your answer. All right, y equals 0 is your horizontal asymptote. The last thing we're looking for today is the y-intercept. It's the point where the line crosses the y-axis and will be given as 0, comma, y when you're finished. To find the y-intercepts, you're going to set all the x values to 0 and solve them for y. So if this is my problem, I plug in a 0 for all the x's and solve it. So I have, on top I'm going to have 0 over negative 1. Well, that's just 0. But remember, I have to keep it in the correct form, so it's 0, 0. That's my y-intercept. Alrighty? Now, let's try graphing this. This should be part E. Graphing this, okay? Um, we need to find all our parts first, and then we'll learn how to sketch this graph. Okay, the first thing we said was to find the root. Okay, root, you set the numerator equal to zero and solve it. And you put it in point form, negative one-half comma zero. So there's my root. Vertical asymptote. We set any factors in the denominator, x minus 5 equals 0, and solve it, x equals 5. Vertical asymptote is a line, so it's just x equals 5. Horizontal asymptote. This is, you ask yourself, is it Bobbio, Botano, or Eats DC? Look at the power of x. It's 1 over 1. So the exponents are the same. That's an Eats DC. And... Then I divide the coefficients, 2 over 1, so it's y equals 2. All right, then y-intercepts, 
We put in zeros for x. So I have 2 times 0 plus 1 over 0 minus 5. So this gives me 1 over negative 5. Remember, intercept is a point, so I have to write it as a point, 0, negative 1 fifth. Now I'm going to plot these points and see what shapes I have, okay? Negative 1 half 0 is right here. x equals negative 5, 3, 4, 5. Vertical line right here. y equals 2, so my horizontal is up here. And y intercept is at 0, negative 1 fifth, so it's just below the origin. All right, now to graph this, I've sketched in all my parts. Now think about the parent function shape, okay? It's opposite L's usually. And then let's look at what I know. I know that the line has to go through these two points that we've just solved for. And I know the line has to hug the asymptotes, all right? So it's going to look something like that down here. Now on the right side of my asymptote, vertical asymptote, I need to figure out is the curve above the horizontal or below the horizontal asymptote. The best way to do that is to pick up x value over here, which I can pick x is 6, and I'm going to plug that 6 into the original equation for x. Okay, so 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13, 6 minus 5 is 1. So that tells me that there's a point where x is 6, y is 13. So it's way up here, which gives me enough information to know that the curve is above that horizontal asymptote. Okay, so there's what my curve would look like. Let's try another one. All right, look at this one. Let's do uh, roots first. Roots. Set the numerator equal to 0 and solve it. So x is 0. Vertical asymptote. Set the denominator factors equal to zero. We just have one and solve it. So x is equal to negative one. Horizontal asymptote. Okay, is this Bobby Obotno or each DC? Well, this is x to the first power, x to the first power. So it's an each DC. Divide the coefficients. Two over one. Gives me a two. So y equals two. And then the y intercept. Zero's in for x, so 2 times 0 over 0 plus 1 is 0 over 1, also known as 0. And remember your y-intercept is, is a point, so it's 0, 0. All right, I found all these parts. Now I need to graph them. So I have a point at the origin. I have a vertical asymptote at negative 1. I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. And my y-intercept is the same as my x-intercept. So I only have one point. But I do know that the line has to go through that point and hug the asymptotes. Okay. Now, I don't know what's going on on the left side of the vertical asymptote, so I need to test a point. For instance, where x is negative 2. So let's put in negative 2 into our original equation. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 2 plus 1 gives me negative 1. So a negative over a negative makes it a positive. So at negative 2, y is positive 4. So that's up here. That tells me the curve is up here above that horizontal asymptote. And that's all I need to know to graph this rational function correctly. Notice it will pass the vertical line test. You always want to make sure that's true before you move on. Now I want you to try this one on your own. Find the four things, landmarks that we found, sketch what you can, and if you have any questions, bring them to class. Good luck.